Hi everybody! So I want to talk about something a little bit different today in light of the coronavirus and how it has changed society. Right now, because of the coronavirus and the quarantine the government has put on a lot of people, the, um, the way that society functions has been inverted. This is in terms of types of people that there are and how we function in society. So there's two types that we're going to talk about, the introverts and the extroverts. So introverted does not mean shy or antisocial or you don't have social skills. It simply means that you recharge your energy by spending time alone. Extroverts, on the other hand, they gain more energy by being around other people. And so society is geared to accommodate extroverts. So the majority of jobs include uh, interaction with other people, you have to be involved with other people, necessary life activities like grocery shopping, school, uh, making any appointments, phone calls, doctors, all that stuff, that's geared toward extroverts. You have to always be around people. Right now, because of the coronavirus, a lot of people are quarantined, having to stay home, businesses are closed, you can't go out and do social functions. And now we are seeing what life is like when it's accommodating introverts, because more people are having to spend time by themselves or with a few select people that they are quarantined with and not having a lot of other interaction with other people. To visually demonstrate how this has been inverted, let me show you what life is like and how it's geared towards extroverts on a graph. Let's say that your average day looks like this. So if you have a nine to five job right here, this is time that you spend with other people. Let's say 9 p.m. to 10 to 11 until let's say 6 p.m., 6 a.m. There's the amount of time that you don't have to be introverted or extroverted because you're asleep. However you do your morning routine, maybe let's just put that as time spent alone, uh, 6 to 7. Uh, let's do 7 to 8, too. And then if you live alone or your drive to work is alone, then we'll keep that one, that hour allotted for that. But if you have a morning commute where you're around other people, or you spend family time in the morning or seeing a roommate, let's put that being around people. Here after work in the afternoon, five to six, um, whether you drive home alone or afternoon commute is with other people, half and half. So there's time spent with people, time spent alone. Six to eight, let's say if you have a family or roommates that you're around, if you have to spend some time doing errands or activities, we can put that in for that amount of time. And then eight to nine, let's say getting ready for bed, watching a movie, spending time on your own. So during the weekdays, that's about what it looks like. So if you see this pink time, all of this is time for extroverts to gain energy. And the green, this, and this part, is the time for extroverts to lose energy. The pink being time for introverts to lose energy, and green being time for introverts to gain energy. We have three and a half hours for introverts to gain some emotional or physical energy. And Eleven and a half hours for extroverts to gain energy. Right now, because so many people are quarantined, let's say that this is flipped. And now the introverts have about this amount of time and extroverts have about this amount of time. And because that is so different, people are very confused as to what is happening to society and to people, how they relate to others and how they are living their lives in an opposite of how they normally do. We're hearing extroverts for the first time voice frustrations that introverts have been having for all of life. They are going through what introverts are expected to deal with in terms of the time allotted to regain their energy and the time that they are expending energy. Now that we have flipped the binary, a lot of people are realizing how much it takes for introverts to always be expending energy in the little amount of time they have to recharge that energy. I'm not saying that extroverts are complaining and they need to deal with this and that their struggles because they are emotionally driven by their connection with other people and are now lacking that is invalid. 
I'm just saying, now that you know what introverts have to go through, then maybe you can be a little bit more lenient with us and understand what it's like for us when we are constantly expending energy and having such a few hours to regain that energy and recharge. Well, right now, who are struggling with this a lot because they're stuck at home with bad relationships with family members or not having anyone around them at all, we all need to be around other people to function as human beings. And so anyone blessed to spend this time in the comfort of their own home, with good relationships, with the people that they're with, their needs provided for, and enough money to get them through, make the most of this time with a positive attitude. 